Is this you? If someone were to ask you, do you really understand your water meter warranty? Do you have a great understanding? Probably not. So I wanted to take the time to really take a deeper dive into what the water meter warranties of manufacturers really provide for you as a way to protect your revenue. In order to do that, we need to start off by looking at some of the standards that we all abide by. And I'm going to start right at the C700s. Now, of course, there's many different types of meters, displacement type meters, single jet, multi-jet, turbine, compounds, and so forth. But we're going to focus our attention here just on a standard residential displacement type meter. So let's take a look at the C700. We're going to look at a 5 8 inch meter. What AWWA is stating here is that the normal test flow limits for a 5 8 meter should be between 1 and 20 gallons per minute but they give a minimum test flow as well. The minimum test flow for this meter should be at a quarter of a gallon per minute. So this meter should be accurate between a quarter of a gallon per minute all the way up to 20 gallons per minute. Next thing we want to take a look at is how they define the normal flow limits and the minimum flow rate. If we look at section 4.2, the general design of the C700 standard, it states this. It states that normal flow limits at any rate of flow within the normal test flow, the meter shall register not less than 98.5% and not more than 101.5%. If we go to the next paragraph, they talk about the minimum flow rate. Remember they said minimum flow is a quarter of a gallon per minute. So what they state here is they say the minimum test flow rate, the meter shall register not less than 95% and not more than 101.5 percent meaning that at a quarter of a gallon per minute we should be seeing an accuracy of 95 percent to 101.5 manufacturers use two terms that most water utilities don't understand that well and i want to define them here so if we move to the awwa m6 manual they define the two terms rebuilt versus repaired all right so they say this a rebuilt meter is one that has had the measuring element replaced with a factory made new unit, right? So I know I could take a turbine meter and I could take the four bolts out and I could put in a new measuring element and it's like a new meter, right? I should be getting new meter accuracy from that meter, right? A repaired meter is one that has had the old measuring element cleaned and refurbished in a utility repair shop. So they're going to state a repaired meter accuracy versus a new or rebuilt meter accuracy. Now, we all know as common practice today, meters are not often repaired. The time that it takes to do that, to take a meter out of service, take it back to the shop, take it apart, clean it, repair it, and then put it back into service. When you look at the dollars and cents of that, it normally doesn't make sense to do. So we know that's not done often, but I want you to understand the difference between what a manufacturer states when they state rebuilt versus repaired, because it, it actually relates to their warranty. I also want to take one step further and look at the flow rates now of new versus rebuilt versus repaired. So we'll go back to the M6 manual again, and we'll take a look at their table 5.3. We'll look at our 5 8 meter. Under max rates, the meter should be accurate 98.5 to 101.5. That's what we said before. So if I'm testing a new meter and I'm testing a max flow rate at 15 gallons per minute, I should see 98.5 to 101.5 for a new rebuilt or repaired meters. So that's what it means when it says all meters. My intermediate flows or intermediate rate according to the table Normally, if I've tested an intermediate flow, I'm going to be testing that about two gallons per minute. And for a new, rebuilt, or repaired, I should still see an accuracy of 98.5 to 101.5. Now, we will move over to minimum rate for new and rebuilt meters. For displacement meters, it's saying down to a quarter of a gallon per minute, that meter should be accurate to 95 to 101.5%. Now, note that the M6 manual shown here has not yet been updated to match the C700. But if you look at repaired meter accuracy, and this is what manufacturers will use as repaired meter accuracy, repaired meter accuracy should be on the minimum flow, 90%. Okay, how do I take those numbers and compare those against 
what the manufacturer offers me as a warranty. Here's how we, how we do that. We're going to take a manufacturer's warranty and we're going to dissect it so you understand it better. First and foremost, there's normally a separate warranty for the housing. In this case, this manufacturer provides 25 years and six months after shipment for the housing itself. Okay, so to make sure that the housing is, it stays intact for materials and workmanship. Now, the next thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at again our 5 8 meter. We're going to look at new meter accuracy. This manufacturer states that for a period of five years from the date of shipment or a registration of 750,000 gallons, I should be getting new meter accuracy. That means at max flow and intermediate flow, I should test out at 98.5 to 101.5. And for a minimum flow rate, I should test out at 95 to 101.5%, right? That's what that means. When we talk about repaired meter accuracy, this manufacturer says for a period of 15 years from the date of shipment or 2.5 million gallons, I should be receiving repaired meter accuracy, meaning that Remember, repaired meter accuracy is the same for max and inter intermediate flows, 98.5 to 101. But for the repaired meter accuracy, my minimum flow at a quarter of a gallon per minute should be at least 90%. What does that mean? That means that, for again, for a period of 15 years from the date of shipment or a registration of 2.5 million gallons, I should be seeing at least 90% on my low flow at a quarter of a gallon per minute. That's according to AWWA, and then that's what this manufacturer provides. Here's what I want you to look at. The thing that you need to compare is the amount of registration that links to these two year numbers, right? For the first one, for new meter accuracy, this manufacturer allows five years or 750,000 gallons. What does your meter manufacturer provide? at a five year new meter accuracy. Is that number 750,000 or something lower? Now, when I've taken a quick look at some other manufacturer's warranty, I've seen that number as low as 500,000 for a positive displacement meter, right? Versus the 750,000 gallon. Same thing as it relates to the repaired meter accuracy. I've seen that number as low as 1.5 million gallons for repaired meter accuracy. So those are the things that you wanna compare meter to meter. What some meter manufacturers will provide for you is an extended low flow meter accuracy. What does that mean? This particular manufacturer says that we're going to go above and beyond what AWWA states. They are providing at low flow, at a quarter of a gallon per minute, an accuracy of 98.5%, right? So if I look at that compared to AWWA, AWWA says I need to have 95% accuracy at a quarter. This manufacturer is giving you 98.5% at a quarter of a gallon per minute. They go one step further. They will go down to an eighth of a gallon per minute for five years and 675,000 gallons and give you the minimum AWWA of 95%. AWWA says you need to be 95% at a quarter. This manufacturer goes down to 95% at an eighth of a gallon. Again, another revenue protection for you. My hope is that you now better understand how water meter warranties work, and then you now can compare one warranty of one manufacturer to another. So if you have any questions related to water meter warranties, please put a question in the comment section below and I will personally provide you with an answer. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you next time on The Smart Water Show.